Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Papal, the Holy Trinity, Papal State. Cologne is balling out of control, aren't they? Right, so easy come, easy go. Um, yeah, I had like three whole episodes with the better UI mod, and then there was a patch, naturally. Uh, and so yeah, I don't think it's up to date, and I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I still have my zero army regiments, you know, it's never gonna go away, apparently. Uh, no patch can save me from that, that little problem. We're waiting for the knights to get released via event. Um, no, that's not true. The knights are free. What? I could have sworn that the knights got integrated. Am I crazy? When did that? What? That is so weird. Didn't the Ottomans win their war? They have a truce with the knights. <laughs> okay. I. Uh, okay. Sure. All right, well let's let's uh, let's let's carry on then. Um, so our goal is to attack down until we can take Jerusalem, which is down here. It's owned by the Mamluks. We have, of course, no CB to attack the Mamluks. Um, they still own Cyprus. The knights have a claim on that. Knights, if you would just become my vassal. What if we just no CB them right now? Can we handle the aggressive expansion? Just no CB the knights, and then just go after the Mamluks, and then I don't know. Can we even take Jerusalem without having access to it? I don't think we can. I mean, we could certainly take Cyprus, and then use that to fabricate down there, but... No, I don't think this campaign is going to be over anytime soon. I think there's a lot of different things that need to be accomplished. I already missed that better UI mod. I got, I just gotten so used to it already. Damn. I have to wait eagerly for them to patch things. Norway. I like to Denmark. Good relations with Norway. But we have claims. On two whole provinces. I think no. We, we we were getting up. We were ready to get getting ready to attack Russia, weren't we? Mm. Yes, we were. One thing that's really cool though is um, and I, I didn't make a patch notes video. It's it's not a major patch. It's like a it's like a balance patch. It's a you know bug fix patch. I may or may not do a patch notes video. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. Um, but one thing that's really cool about this patch is that uh, has this always been here? Subjugate the Crimea. Anyway, uh, one thing that I definitely am very excited about is uh, my keyboard shortcuts. Pretty much all of them have made it into the base game of E of War, which is outstanding. So, um, supply's pretty good up here. Why don't we put a 36k stack in Neva? The forts are here, here, and here. What if we... It's defensive terrain on three forts, level two forts... I think we want to just blitz these three these three forts in defensive terrain with an army in between to reinforce whichever stack he attacks. But the Gura took a colony from Portugal. They're at war, so they seized it. Interesting. Also, there's this new thing on this screen, which for some silly reason was bound to escape. I... Paradox, really. Anyway, this is really cool. Hopefully it is alphabetical. Nope. No rhyme or reason to the order whatsoever. Nice. <laughs> That's good, though. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it really is to see all of the different modifiers that you have as a country. Um, instead of having to, like, thumb through these things. But, um, see, I... Ah! Escape is the, it's the wrong key. It's the, it's, escape is how you close. Shortcut escape, shortcut escape. You can't do this, Paradox. No! <laughs> Alright, let's just focus on our war with Russia. Uh, do we have leaders? We have a leader. Um, also, we have the Pope. We cannot make our duty to do the Pope. No, did it, I, I could have sworn Pope Paulus had already been made a leader, but did, did the game take it away from me? I think it may have. Anyway, um, did we rival Russia? Who's our rival? I don't think we did. Z is not taking him into my home country. Paradox, you, you boned my keyboard shortcuts. You didn't do it right. Open the diplomacy view of your own country. It's supposed to be the Z key. Why does it work? Ugh. That's a, a going immediately onto the list of things to fix. Anyway, um, 
Okay, so apparently I have to click this button now, because everyone loves clicking buttons. The Papal State. Alright, so our rivals are Ottomans, Hungary, Austria. So attacking Russia is not going to give us an extra leader slot. That was the question that I was actually trying to answer. Is it just me, or I really feel like this hasn't been like this before? I think it used to just be the little symbol. I don't remember reading it. Maybe I'm crazy. So, Austria, Hungary, and the Ottomans. Well, we're not going to attack the Ottomans. There's no way that was there before. Just, you know, there's no way. I think we attack Russia anyway. Theodore and Ryzen don't matter. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think we just do this. We make it over Ladoga or Kolmgari. Probably Ladoga. Going to war with Russia just seems like a fun thing to do, you know? We'll put the leader in charge of the army that's not going to be in charge of a siege, I think. Unless he has siege value. No, he doesn't. So, yeah, we want the reinforcing stack to be nearby. We'll tell our vassals... Oh, this is, this is different. This was not as big before, was it? The nobility estate modifier, Dine Held, has expired. Their influence is now 31%. This is new. Cool. Gain 15 loyalty. Lose 5 prestige, they gain some influence. That actually seems perfectly acceptable to do right now. An extra modifier there. Papal State still has that 30% modifier, which is unfortunate. We could have them gain even more influence if we wanted a, an Admiral, but I don't think we do. Like I was saying, let's tell our vassals to be aggressive. We're doing fantastic on manpower. Um, I think we're ready to fight Russia. Like, I should probably have checked this before we declared. But yeah, they've got 9,000 manpower with 39,000 troops. We've got 60-some thousand manpower. Yeah, we're looking fine, I think. Sure. I don't really see any issue with that. They've also added in the, uh, added in the ability for, for us to be able to do um, additional keyboard shortcuts. Like, you can have more than one keyboard shortcut now. If he were to engage me, where would he come from, do you think? We still do not have the ability to add in... Oh my god, we do. It is this patch. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I thought that it was another patch. Oh my god, it's glorious. You can just press the Q key to cycle between commands. Oh my god! Okay, so if I'm, if I'm on the political map mode and I press Q, it goes to simple. If I'm on another map mode and I press Q, Still goes to simple. Press it again, goes to this one. That's so good! It's so amazing! Best change ever! Uh, why did my O1 get unbound? Apparently it's it's mucked up some of my keyboard shortcuts. Coalitions was right, fort level was right. Um, this one should have been... I guess made... Oh, overseas provinces. Colors the provinces that count as overseas in red while non... N greater than O-N overseas provinces are colored green. Okay, so I guess because it changed this, it just kind of mucked it up a little bit. I think I had... I think I had estates in development, if I remember correctly. Is there some particular reason why I'm not allowed to, like, keybind estates? Click to select a new primary map mode. I am clicking. Not a neighbor private. That's useful information. Uh, yeah, okay. Neighbor province map mode? Left click. Okay, alright. Federations is clearly wrong. I'm gonna delete the federation link. It's supposed to be... Click. I want... Oh, okay, it's one big huge scroll. Maybe that's why I'm messing it up. Um, I think I want development and estates. Let's try it. Estates. For crying out loud. There it is. Here. It's like, okay, I think what it was is that it had a map mode that doesn't exist anymore bound. 
Yeah, I remember they added dynastic map mode, and rebel types is interesting. Development. Okay, now we got it working. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna have to like start adding these in. I definitely want like like some of these can be consolidated. Like E is for diplomatic. Um, w is for political. Opinion. What else? What else can we stick under opinion? Maybe. The one I always used to use for trade was Y, but then I started using it for a revolt risk. So why don't we just make that one into a toggle? We'll add in another one, and we'll make this trade. Now I can use it for both! That's so good! There we go. So Y for unrest, or trade. Oh, it's so beautiful. Eventually I have to go through and maybe take the time to like keep buying them all, but for now, let's keep playing the game a little bit. I think he's more likely to engage one of these two. But I don't really know. It's hard to say. It's a 14k stack. Let's just sort of sit and wait a little bit. Nice disease outbreak, that's beautiful. Um, we do have six artillery in each stack. I could throw an extra an extra 4,000 artillery over there. Try to advance one of these sieges just a little bit faster. We are suffering fairly, fairly high attrition to do these sieges. The Livonians are up here with their 17 stack. They are trying to take the war goal, which is quite nice of them. And here come the Teutons with their 15k stack, taking over Minsk. Okay, that was interesting. Why did it go to that map mode first? If I'm on diplomatic, it's going to this type of terrain. If I'm on political, it's going to this type of terrain. Okay, it's it's remembering whichever one is on there last, which is wrong. That's wrong, paradox. No, whiz. It's wrong. I mean, it, it's acceptable, I can work with it, but it's still wrong, just so you know. The way it should work is it should just always take the first one. This is the prime... It, it's determined out, it's a primary map mode, and it's a secondary map mode. It, the primary map mode should always take precedence. The only way it should ever do the secondary map mode is if you click it twice. It's just, it's the logic... It's the only logical thing. We will find him. Ooh, Teutonic Order may getting a crossing penalty of negative one. If the attacking general has higher maneuver than the defending general, the crossing penalty will be ignored. That's new. I like this. Well, we're already kind of stuck to this. Ruffello has uh, two maneuver. We're clearly going to win this fight. And the Teutons are tanking for us. And by Teutons, of course. Uh, yes, I do mean Teutons. It was the Teutons. Never mind. So, this little indicator is apparently how we know where rivers are now. I like this. It's just saying you may get a penalty. Not guaranteed to, but you may. Finally breach those walls, breach these walls, we're breaching walls left and right. We've taken Pascov. Lots of free diplomats. Um, okay, the Golden Horde has gone bankrupt. That, uh... We're unlikely to need this anytime soon, so I think we could probably take this tech now. We're still focused on the correct one. Our military point generation is god awful. Um, I was concerned about my diplomats. I do not like this paradox. It's wrong. It should not remember the last one used. Ah, So close. That's the way I feel about it. It's like, it's so close, it's almost perfect. But it's not. It's wrong. I'm a bit biased, considering it was my idea. And they didn't do it exactly as my idea worked. But that makes sense, you know, I'm not, I mean, I'm not in any kind of position where I can actually make things certain ways. Um, oh, oh, that's the other thing I totally forgot, actually. Um, this is in the game, too. Very exciting. Let's look at this. I should have, I should have said something about this earlier. He's still screen. Yeah. It will cost Papal State this much to take course. Check it out. 586 points. What? I don't think that's the right game. Are these provinces really worth that much? 
263. Wow, apparently they, they all are just worth that much. So 100... 363... 580. I just have to, you know, I, yeah. I just have to test it, like, one time to make sure it's true. It's working! Good job! <laughs> That's exciting. I like it. So Cassia will seed land to the Ottomans. Unsurprising that the Ottomans continue to grow. Ottomans have rivaled us. Alright. Well, recently they had unrivaled us, so it's curious. They've decided uh, now that they don't want to rival us, or that they, they want to rival us again. We already have 22 war score. Their capital is nearby. We could just move in on that. Um, considering I really only want to take the land that they have claims on, and maybe a little bit more. Ooh, this is new as well, and I, this is something I also sp specifically asked for. Oh, gosh, I, I swear I have such a crush on Wiz right now. Um, their war, is, is, uh, yeah, war enthusiasm is medium. It's this little horse thing, right? And it tells you... Basically, when it's time to peace out. So we don't need to constantly be checking to see, like, hey, should I consider going to peace him out right now? Because it just tells you right there. The burger's estate modifier confiscated ships has expired. Confiscated ships? Is that what that one was called? I guess confiscated ships was the name of it, sure. Shall we draft more ships? I think we shall. And the clergy are very upset. Loyalty... Okay, so this is different now. Loyalty is determined by your past actions toward this estate and changes by 0.16% every month towards 50. This corresponds to a base change of 1.6% per year from the current loyalty level modified by sought support made generous donation. So there's nothing I can really do right now. They're just pissed. A lot has changed. I'll, I'll need to probably start a new campaign to like fully grasp all these changes. I'm gonna probably just wait till he gets to low enthusiasm and then just take whatever I can get. I don't really want to put a huge amount of effort into this war. I'd rather be able to move in and focus on on, on, on other targets. And there will be costs involved with winning this war. I think in general, sieging their capital would probably be a good way to get them all the way down to low. And I'm very excited to see this very first time that this thing makes it makes my life so much easier. Let's grab our leader and move here. Never mind, we cannot. And therefore, therefore we shan't. We cannot, so therefore we shall not. Shan't. It's a real word. guy's rather aggressive, isn't he? He's trying to peace out now. We are blessed! Still at medium enthusiasm, even though he's sending a peace offer. That's curious. Also, apparently there's a modifier to ongoing battles plus eight. It's a new modifier that prevents them from peacing out, like, in the middle of a battle. Which is good, probably, for balance, but sucks, because I used to do that a lot. I used to try to peace them out to avoid, avoid battles that I knew I was going to lose. Comedie del Art Performances. I don't think we need to really worry about this, actually. Okay, Patagora Guara is like cra going crazy with these uh, seized colonies. And there he's got like a, a sad horse. So now we can easily take 36% war score, basically for free. Right, we need to transfer control before we get the free devil cost. Remind me again, I need to uh, to remember to keyboard shortcut that stuff. Holmgrave is not sieged yet. All the more reason to march up there, isn't it? Are you serious? Listen, okay, 
I, I want you to understand something. Um, I declared war using your CB. It's your claim. I don't have a claim. I'm transferring it to you because I'm going to give it to you. Stop transferring it back to me. You... Alright, Wiz. I, I just want to say that... Uh, even the smallest amount of playtesting surely would have revealed this issue. I'm just saying. Alright, this is the, the smallest amount possible. Like, five, like, I've been playing for 15 minutes. And I've uncovered this very obvious and annoying thing. Like, see, so you're saying I have to... In multiplayer, if I'm playing against the AI and I've got a vassal, I'm gonna have to pause the game and say, Please guys, let me transfer control so they don't transfer it back right away? That's freaking stupid. Let's watch. Just, I, bet, I bet they'll transfer it all back. Apparently not. Ladoga, though, he's just like, I don't want it. Did you, like, set this as not special interest or something? No, it is. Would you stop doing that? Just stop it. Also, they got the order of these wrong. This should really be A, S, D. Or it could have just been the ones that I used. Just saying. He's actually winning this fight. Yeah, we got routed. He's still on low enthusiasm. Right, well, I don't know why he's doing this, but... So, we need to transfer control of any development that we can that's low-ish. What's with that big long dash after the manpower? Shouldn't that be on the next line down? Twelve development, ten development. This is so annoying. Start with those two. Those four. Let's just transfer a bunch to him. I don't know exactly how much we're going to give him. Looks up 35. That's pretty much good enough for me. He's got a lot of money. Well, the Livonian order grows. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next one. I'm going to probably see if I can fix a couple of those keyboard shortcuts that weren't working. And, uh, you know, go hit up Wiz. Just whine a little bit. So, alright. Well, cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again soon.